vitamin D and muscle strength. When you get to hear the results in this study of just people taking vitamin D for nine months and what it did to increase muscle strength in postmenopausal females, you'd be saying to yourself, it'd be economically feasible if the government just gave free vitamin D to everyone because the results are exactly that amazing. But I digress and let us proceed so you can see for yourself. Vitamin D3 supplementation helps women build muscle even after menopause was the public release title presented at the 2015 annual meeting of the North American Menopause Society September 30th in Vegas. Citation title, so you can validate what I'm saying, effective vitamin D supplementation alone on muscle function in postmenopausal women, a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical trial. Now keep in mind, this is what happened in the research itself. Uh, they used women who had low vitamin D levels to start with. But beside that point, the results were just incredibly fascinating. Let's look at their subject groups, so to say. In this double-blind placebo-controlled clinical trial, 160 Brazilian postmenopausal women were randomized into two groups. The vitamin D group consisting of patients receiving vitamin D3, a thousand IUs a day. I know a thousand sounds like a big number, but it's really hardly anything. Just a thousand IUs of vitamin D per day, and the results were just staggering. Or a placebo group, women with amenorrhea for more than 12 months, and they were their age of 50 to 65 years with a history of falls also in the previous 12 months were included. The intervention time was nine months, meaning nine months is how long it took vitamin D for a thousand IUs orally, which means in a capsule daily or tablet. And this was the results. At the end of the trial, the women receiving the supplements demonstrated a significant increase, 25.3% increase in muscle strength. Just by taking a thousand IUs of vitamin D for just nine months, a 25% increase in muscle strength. And you may say, well, what did the placebo group gain in muscle strength? Gain, no. Lost, yes. Wow, those receiving the placebo actually lost an average of 6.8% of their muscle mass, so to say, in regards to the strength levels. Women not receiving vitamin D supplements were also nearly two times as likely to fall. So, meaning that those taking the vitamin D obviously were far less likely to fall. After nine months, averages of blood levels of vitamin D, as opposed to using the technical term, increased 45.4%. That's just a thousand I use a day for nine months. While obviously you should expect the placebo group lost how much? 18.5% blood levels, the vitamin D levels, I should say decreased uh, over that nine month period of time. So for an incredibly cost effective way of improving or basically maintaining your strength and reducing the likelihood of falling, henceforth often resulting in many fractures, a thousand IUs of vitamin D, such a simple, simple, simple intervention, or I should say daily routine, that can make a lifetime of difference in a multitude of people. Again, I really hope this helps. This is Ralph Trichiano signing off, and thank you very much for listening once again.